Team Liquid not only claims the throne, but also the title of being the best North American team in CSGO. If you missed the CSGO action at DreamHack Dallas, don't even trip, we got you. Here is the best from DreamHack in the FPS Plays of the Week. Guardian hoping for someone to get close to the wall. There's the long fight for Elise taking down Neo. And Guardian, oh, he's got to have to put himself into action right now. Does he get the chance? A little bit of an opportunity. Nitro surviving on two health. And down at long, it's all off trying to make his way closer. There's Nitro gone, and it's on Stewie. They have to get close to that AW. Oh, he gets that one! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Taking down both players, point blank range. How wondering. exactly do they want to cross? I was wondering if they were, if he was going to try and push when they smoke. So like, as in just when it lands, he just uses that. Two flash, double flash. Huey going to go and hard check it. And he had the most health and he's gone. Now they have an AWP and an AK. You said it. They could actually still do this. Olaf waiting in the same position. Hoping maybe to catch them off guard. He's actually back in the exact same position. They might not read that. They know all of pretty well, and I'm, I'm assuming that they would think he's probably repositioned himself, but no, there we go. Now it's all on that. AWP in hand, 28 seconds. Oh, oh, oh my lord! lord! It can't be true! Just Sergey with only a scout and a pistol. It looks like it should happen. No, but his position is so clever. He can sneak up behind Twist. That's an AK upgrade as well. There's kits on both Liquid players, but Sergei is waiting. He's gonna wait and walk. He wants to deny the defuse. He's fought it, he saves it, headshot on the first, runs it down, knows he's inside of the smoke, gets the AK, oh! it, and he does everything perfectly, absolutely perfectly to give Edge 14. Dax is waiting. Last form, oh! but Guardian knew where he was the whole time, just had to buy some space behind the flash and smoke, and he has no! done that in spades to find Lucky as well, couldn't quite close on his fifth and the ace, but no he'll go way. back and find shots for the end. With two HP. Who battened down the hatches at this point, but they've actually given this round up again due to facing. They don't need to challenge long. And HG2 might get their first map point. They've been chasing overtimes every single round. So oh! far, but Neo's got other ideas. Holds the angle for HP. They were right next to each other inside of that smoke. It'll be Elise to try and fight them one versus four, and he's got the first kill. The bomb is right there, so I mean, that's right. The only thing going for him. One more headshot. They're going to try and jump. Oh! Winning the round, a one versus four clutch. They cannot allow this escape route to open up for Zaiwu. It's a one versus three. Just keep running back with that AWP. Zaiwu desperately trying to find him, trying to open things up, and he's done it. Now he can get over towards A. A mistake by Art, and Zaiwu can clutch this and keep Vitality alive. Yeah, well, it would have to be the ace clutch, wouldn't it? That's what he's gunning for, and if you want anyone left on this Vitality team in this kind of position, it's got to be him. 15 seconds, plenty of time to put the bomb down. Nobody near to stop him either. And now just peeking out. I'm not sure if you saw that. Doesn't seem like it. Smoke going to be going up and they almost have to respect it. Through the smoke, he nearly takes down Vinny. Okay, Serato coming in with that AWP. Maybe he could... I wish he could have found another weapon. That could be a hard weapon to try and retake with. Now he's out. Past the smoke as well. They line up for him. Cyber, oh, there it is. The ace clutch able to pick it up. Find from Art. He'll throw the AWP back inside of the site, grab the AK. That's one more gun that they can utilize. And he's even going to go further. We know how aggressive he was on the T side of Mirage yesterday. What a play this is. Man, against Fnatic. He, yeah, he does it again. Ball down. No mistake about it. He finds Sergey as well, and he's looking for more than just that. Apex also holding his own. Oh, the bomb. That is the bomb, isn't it? Can you get the gun? I think he's very, very scared of underpass for good reason as well. Nine bullets left for these final two kills. Running low, smoke out to delay. Now only five bullets left, and he's got the MP7. Flashbang, they're both flashing lines. Oh! That is a beautiful flashbang. That's so sick. But then you couldn't, like, 
get in another map to make to not make it new. It's basically, it seems like we shouldn't be playing new. Oh, Jack. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh my, my God. God, he absolutely destroyed them. Ethan getting a couple of kills and Aminek, he could probably maybe sort of run through and steal a kill somewhere, but don't think it's going to... Oh, wow. One more, more headshot. It's going to look... Oh, oh, no, no. What? How could that happen? Absolutely impossible. He didn't even reload and he picked up that final kill. And now it's 30 seconds and Tarek, he has the health, but Amanek is here with the C-Z. Oh, he's going to clutch it. One versus four. Yo, these pros have superhuman reflexes. What do you guys think? What was your favorite play? Drop us a comment down below and let us know. If you want more FPS hype, make sure to tune in to Esports in 30 every single Friday. And don't forget to follow us on all our socials at Squad State. We'll see you next time.